Stephen, congratulations. Until this year, you'd never won a match in Crucible qualifying. You're now one win away from the big one. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty amazing, really. I obviously come into this tournament off the back of some good form, but not really had the results this season. I feel like my game's been there, but my um, results sort of just haven't really been coming. So it's been a bit of a frustrating season, really. But I just I, I felt good coming in, and I'm, I've, I'm in a good place. I've got a lot of great people around me, and I'm putting the work in. So it's nice to see some results. And there have been some good performances this week, especially <coughs> David Grace. That, that was a fantastic victory. So you must have brought confidence into this match against Jordan, the reigning Welsh Open champion. Yeah, definitely. You know, Jordan's obviously had an amazing season to, to win the Welsh Open. So I knew it was going to be a tough game. But like you say, that I, I put in a good performance against Dave. I knew that wasn't going to be easy. He's a tricky opponent. And uh, yeah, I managed to just s sort of find something from somewhere there in that game because at one stage it looked like it was it was all going to not go to plan, so yeah, I'm delighted. Yes, there must have been a time, 3-0 and 4-2 down, that you thought, well, OK, this is as close as I'm going to get. <coughs> so you showed some good composure out there. Yeah, I think so, yeah. 3-0, that four frame was massive, really, to, to sort of nick that going into the interval. Um, I, I just couldn't really hit a barn door with any long shots. I just didn't seem to be quite there to start with. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but I managed to just show some good battling qualities in the end and obviously done me well to get over the line. It's turning into a great story, this. Yeah, we, we know you had a couple of years on tour. You, you made it to the latter stages of the snooker shootout, but you've come a long way since working in the plough. You came back onto the sport through Q School. You, you've, you've, done, you've done some hard yards to, to get this close to the crucible. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's pretty mad, really. You know, um, Obviously, everyone's dream is to play at the crucible, and now it's just one game away. But yeah, it's it's been a lot of lot of years where you sort of I've doubted myself quite a lot, and obviously to to come through Q School was, was amazing last summer. Um, there was times when I thought to myself, maybe snooker's not for me. Obviously, getting the the job in the plow, and which I'm actually meant to be at work tomorrow, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to cancel that one. So, uh, but yeah, it's just crazy to to think now that I could potentially be playing it the holy grail for us of snooker that, yeah, I'm just really excited and I'm really proud of myself. And, and you should be. How much do you think you will enjoy being part of Judgment Day? Uh, yeah, I think I'll enjoy it. You know, I tried to come into these three games this week and uh, just enjoy the occasion, you know. At the end of the day, there's a lot worse things I could be doing, you know. I've, I've experienced having to work for a living, if you like, and obviously I'm so privileged to be able to, to play professional snooker and I can appreciate how hard it is to win matches and obviously to earn the money, um, it, it's all great. So I think I'll enjoy it. Obviously the, the nerves will probably be there, but I've just shown that I can handle the nerves. So we'll, we'll go again. Well, enjoy your day off. Make sure you phone the guys at the plow. I, I think <laughs> it's a good excuse. Listen, I've, I've got one more match to play and I might make it to the sports spiritual home. I don't think you'll have any issues from them. I hope not. Very best of luck on Judgment Day. <laughs> Thank you very much.